it's the beginning of January and I would like to give you guys a quick tour of my balcony garden at this time of year to show you how it looks off season, uh, to show you what remains on my balcony during winter and also to highlight a few evergreen plants that provide interest right now when everything else is dormant. Uh, as a reminder, I garden in zone 8, which is a rather mild climate, but at the same time all of these evergreen plants that I'm going to show you today are winter hardy down to zone 3 or 4 others to zone 5 or 6, so I think that even if you live in a colder climate, you can still potentially find some ideas in today's video. So without further ado, let's start with the back of the balcony. So this area of my balcony garden, which I call the shade corner, doesn't receive any direct sunlight at all, even during the season, so I grow a lot of um, herbaceous perennials in here, in all of these empty looking pots, there are my dormant herbaceous perennials, um, but as you can notice, I don't like the look of bare soil. Um, uh, so I top dress the containers with some sort of mulch. Oh, there's a, there's a bumblebee that just arrived on my hellebore. Isn't that amazing? That's I'm gonna talk about this in a moment. So um, I top dress my containers with some sort of mulch because I feel like that makes them look a little bit more interesting than just looking at bare soil. Uh, that's something that I spoke about in one of my recent videos where I talked about how to add winter interest to your balcony on a budget. So in this area here we have two evergreen plants. First, Carex Evergold, beautiful ornamental grass, uh, hardy down to zone 5 grows really rapidly, adds a lot of movement, adds a pop of color during winter and looks even better in summer when you incorporate it uh, in your container garden display when you mix it with some with some flowers. Um, next we have hellebore that is uh, loved by bees. Hellebores are a must-have if you want to add winter interest to your balcony or container garden. They bloom between December and March, which is really amazing. Uh, many hellebores are hardy down to zone 3, but these uh, hybridized versions, these hybridized cultivars, um, they are a little bit less winter hardy. They are hardy down to zone 5 or 6. So here we have a white cultivar, I forgot the name of it, I'm sorry. And on those warmer days or early in the spring when nothing, um, when there's not much blooming in the garden, bees absolutely love hellebores. As you can see, right now we are in January, the temperature is... Uh, quite warm at the moment even though we had frost before but some bees wake up and they search for some nectar rich plants and as you can see they they enjoy hellebores very much so in this area here as we move back we have three evergreen plants we have one more of those carex grasses we have my bay laurel topiary and then we have euonymus fortinii harlequin you can forget about this plant that's how low maintenance it is um, beautiful variegated leaves with a bit of pink tinge during winter mine doesn't look very variegated at the moment because i actually trimmed it i'm shaping it into a bowl uh, and i trimmed it quite late in the season so i cut off all of those beautiful fresh variegated leaves. So in here on the right hand side we have several containers with bulbs, with bulb lasagna, so I, la I layered several different types of bulbs in one container, repeated it four times. The bulbs are right now starting to peek through the soil, so in a couple of months we should have a really beautiful uh, spring flower display. On the left hand side here up front two containers with spring bulbs, uh, another ornamental grass, Carex flagellifera, hardy down to zone 6. I actually really love it with um, fall compositions. Up above we have a hookura. Uh, hookuras are really amazing for winter interest. They are hardy down to zone 4. They come in a range of beautiful colors. I think I have four on my balcony right now and I will gladly grow four more. Really easy maintenance. They bloom um, early summer. Uh, if you garden in a really cold climate and you have a lot of snowfall, the leaves may not look as attractive, so you may need to cut them back and wait for the fresh leaves to reappear in the spring, but other than that they are really great for winter interest. I have another one in here, this one, unfortunately I don't know the name of because it came without a plant tag, but I really love these beautiful kind of champagne looking leaves. Another hellebore, this one is called Ice and Roses, and a little sedum on the floor, um, and I didn't even bother to repot this one. I got this one in the fall and just placed it there and they can take some frost they are hardy down to zone 7. Next I have two potted evergreens, two occidentalis hardy down to zone 3. Highly encourage you to look into conifers because they are really winter hardy, really low maintenance uh, and even if you have a very small balcony you can have a very small conifer because they come in a range of sizes you can find some really cute dwarf uh, varieties. 
Another grouping of plants up front, we have another Hukura, Hukura silver gumdrop, which looks a little bit purplish at the moment because of the lower light levels. In summer, it turns more silvery. Um, we have Scabiosa that is a, should be uh, dormant at the moment, but it just doesn't want to go to sleep and it even produce produces flowers. Uh, we have a foxglove that I grew from seeds. These are biennial plants, so we saw them in summer, then they overwinter as seedlings, and then they bloom in the spring. We have ivy glass here, beautiful variegated ivy. Highly encourage you to grow ivy on your balcony. Very low maintenance, grows well in the shade and in the sun. Um, and you can grow it as a trailing plant, you can grow it as a climbing plant, and you can grow it on top of obelisk to add some beautiful vertical interest to your garden. And at the back here we have evergreen fern. I completely don't remember the name of this plant. Ferns have the most complicated botanical names to remember. I have a couple of ferns on my balcony. They are really amazing for shade. Outdoor ferns are not as high maintenance as indoor ferns, as these that we grow as house plants. So definitely recommend ferns for your shady garden, uh, especially evergreen ferns, because you know, there's never too much winter interest, never too many evergreen plants on your balcony. Okay, so we have arrived to the other end of the balcony. There's a whole bunch of everything behind me. Uh, there are some spring bulbs underneath and some more um, biennial plants. There is uh, my veggie garden where I grow alpine strawberries and blueberries and herbs. I have still my parsley going strong uh, despite the frost. We have more Carex flagellifera, we have more Carex ever gold, uh, some sedum, sedum palmarii that is about to bloom. I mean, it started to produce uh, buds, but it's gonna bloom in the spring. And behind me on the trellis we have yet another beautiful ivy, ivy gold heart, which has beautiful reddish stems. Uh, the color is more um, intense in summer when it gets a little bit of sunlight, but beautiful reddish stems and beautiful variegated leaves. Um, I planted it last spring, so it's still very young, but I'm hoping um, for this plant to completely cover these two trellises and provide a beautiful privacy screen. Okay, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this tour of my balcony garden in winter. I'm really curious to which evergreen plants you grow on your balcony and which plants you would recommend for container gardens. Uh, please share that in the comments section. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour and we'll see each other in the next video. Bye.